scanning where we projected a pattern on people's faces. Um, and this is a kind of, before the Connect came out, we were really thinking a lot about scanning. Here's Kyle looking sort of silly. Um, and, uh, and really, like, how do you um, build software that sees, but not only sees two-dimensional, but also sees three-dimensional data. And, uh, and we did a lot of experiments with that. But what, what is exciting now is that we have this tool, and the tool is really cheap, and there's a whole community of people that have been hacking it and sort of de writing the open source drivers to allow you to take this $150 device and, and use it um, in creative, uh, expressive ways. Um, and I've been thinking a lot and, and working with you know dancers and choreographers and, and so on. Um, this is a project that I did with Bree Pettis, who's one of the developers of MakerBot. And Bree and I did this really short collaboration where we went outside and we interviewed people using this crazy configuration of a normal color camera and a, a Kinect camera. So to record both color information but also depth information. And we interviewed people and we interviewed them um, just, uh, we asked them to list the most important people in their lives. This was like a, sort of like a speed project. And then what we did is we took those interviews and we 3D printed their, their faces and we projected the interview, the, the content of the interview back on the face. And there's something really um, kind of magical about it. Here I can show you a short clip of what that looked like. <laughs> oh, I said I don't have sound. So it's really hard to um, to sense in the projection just how magical it was to take these faces, to take the, these people that we had interviewed, and then to actually project their faces back on this 3D model. Something. Um, it's really weird because people really ca came to life. Um, and there's been a whole bunch of projects that people have done with Connect that I think are really interesting. So Theo Watson and Emily Gobiel did a, this is a kind of puppet, right? Oh, it's really dark. Well, you can, you can see her hand, right? Use your, yeah. Use your imagination. Use your imagination. <laughs> Here, there's a hand that is controlling a puppet. Um, and, uh, and just small experiments, just people taking the data from the camera. So this is a camera that, again, that's sensing color and depth information. And, uh, and people really sort of jamming and doing small experiments, um, kind of musical instruments. So here's a theremin. which is projecting on trees and it's basically using using the 3D scanner to get a sense of where the branches and the leaves of the tree are and then it's projecting on them and using this organic structure almost as a volumetric display so it knows when things are further back or closer and then controls the projection and creates a really a volumetric display out of the tree Um, this is, uh, like again, kind of small experiment. This was um, two students in Golan's class that took um, basically small, a small kind of modeling. So you take objects that you just find you know, on your table and it creates a landscape. So it's a little bit like creating a sort of a world with um, you have an ocean and you have islands and you have a landscape that's built out of objects. This was uh, Toby, who was a student here at ITP in the class that Kyle and I taught. Um, and here he's scrubbing forwards and backwards in time using his body. So as he moves closer to the camera, he's playing pixels that are, you know, forwards or backwards in time. And it's actually, it's pretty evident if we go here, you can see. So the time lapse of moldy fruit or... Um, this was a project called Be Your Own Souvenir by um, Blah, 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 Blah. <laughs> And in here they set up in, in, uh, in Barcelona where basically you would stand there, a connect would capture you from three different sides and then they would print a 3D model of you and then you could have a souvenir of yourself. So um, you'd be, be your own souvenir. Um, 
And just like very, it's been interesting to see all this sort of varying um, experiments, more kind of gestural, um, strange experiments. This is a, a friend of ours, Dan, who did um, a, a tracker that tracks his male boobs and draws a bra on himself. Uh, but uh, from this kind of silly stuff, there's also really um, sublime stuff. So this is James George and Alexander Porter did this project, and they have this whole tool that they're working on called RGBD Toolkit, which combines a color camera, an SLR camera, and a Kinect camera, and um, and creates a kind of new imaging source. It's really um, and they went out into the subway with these beautiful photographs of people walking around the subway. A lot of the nuance is lost in this dark projection, but if you just search for RGBD toolkit, it's really interesting. Um, and uh, and it's, I, I think, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it there. Um, what, what I think is interesting is, you know, the, the Connect is particularly a really good case study, and artists and hackers taking something that was put out, you know, for commercial purposes, hacking it. Um, releasing the source code and then just experimenting and probing what is possible with the with the tool. And I think there's a variety of those. I mean, that's probably a good segue to Kyle because I think Kyle's going to do more of an overview of the different you know, interesting applications out there.